So welcome to our new future classroom at Shaftesbury School. It's an A12, which used to be an old art room. We're just gonna go inside, follow me in. And the aim of this video is just to kind of show you the space before we build and before we construct. And you can see we're in the process of ripping everything out. At the moment, it just looks like a messy, gutted classroom, but actually it's quite a wide uh, space and it's ideal for the sort of thing that we're gonna be doing in here. So I'll just kind of show you around. I'll tell you about some of the concepts and some of the ideas that we're hoping to sort of generate in here. And I want you to visualize this space as something that's really different to a traditional classroom. Most classrooms have rows of desks and chairs. This is not gonna be like that at all. It's gonna be a standing classroom. It's gonna be quite immersive. And the difference really is the amount of technology we're gonna put into this space in order to make it a different experience for the kids. So um, we'll start off over here. So if you can visualize whiteboards all the way around the central band of the classroom at around about eye height, apart from the windows, there'll be writable surfaces. Then what we'll do is we'll have a 360 camera uh, which arrived last week and we'll be able to capture the images of the students work on the 360 camera and then upload them to a platform that students can view digitally so they can essentially review their kind of work in a flipped learning style. At the back we're going to have bag lockers over here they're going to go in next week so students can put their bags in. We're going to have some lock boxes for technology. This sink is remaining because at the back we're going to have a STEM lab so this will be used for uh, science, technology, engineering and maths after school and students will be able to do things like the hydroponics, aquaponics, digital light bulb projects in this space as well. Then moving over to here, underneath the lights, uh, sorry, underneath the, the um, windows, we're gonna have a plant wall that's gonna be about three meters long. It's gonna have loads of species of plants. It's gonna be a living plant wall with a, a drip feed kind of irrigation system. So this part here, um, we're gonna have 16 VR headsets which are gonna go on, a virtual reality. And the idea of that is that our students will work in pairs if there's 32 in the group. One student will be immersed in a virtual journey, so we can take them to places like Lulworth Cove, places like the battlefields, and immerse them in things that aren't possible in a normal classroom. And they'll share, and one will write down their sort of journey experience whilst the other experiences it firsthand. And then as we move kind of over to this space, if you can see this board over here, Epson came up with a concept of a future classroom. We're one of 10 schools in the UK who have this amazing projector installed and you can see it's all ready to go so this is the first part of the project uh, phase one if you like the projectors in the boards up and this board's called a smith visual board it's a, it's a very different to a normal board the speakers are wide in and maybe in the next youtube video that i do i'll show you how this works it's a really really impressive piece of kit and just finally there will be astroturf on the car on the floor so if students fall over during vr they get a soft landing because it is quite it makes you quite dizzy and we're going to have some logos from our sponsors put around the room and this space will kind of evolve. Um, we've also got special students will get one of these lanyards as they come in and that's a Google Expeditions AR marker, augmented reality, and they'll be able to scan and bring items into the room as well. So really different to anything we've ever done before and quite a radical alternative space. So I'm going to be posting probably every week a YouTube update when we put stuff in. So just make sure you follow the channel and follow the Instagram for updates. Thank you.